Hello everyone, welcome to lab 3.2.11 from CyberOps course from NetAcad from Cisco. In this video or in this lab you will learn the threats, handles and Windows registry. What are they and how can you explore them in your Windows? Okay, so first of all, we are going to know what uh, what does it mean processes or what is the process. A processes are programs or applications in execution. So anytime you have an application or program is uh, under execution, then you can call it a process. Okay, so to do this, you need to explore the process more. You need to install um, an, an, a tool which is called uh, sys internals suite or sys internal suite you can install it through this uh, link i already did the installation and then uh, you can open it through an, an, an icon in the uh, in the folder that you are going to execute which is called pro pro ce pros like process and a um, xp okay so i already installed this here so if you return, so this is the file, or this is the, fi uh, the uh, file that you are going to run. So when you run it for the first time, you're going to see something like this. And before this, there will be an agreement that you have to accept before you start uh, this application. Okay, so through this, we are going to check the processes inside uh, this machine. All right, so the, fir the first time you can see here that I already have a Windows or a web page open. And now I will, I'm going to check <coughs> the process uh, um, inside my machine that is running this uh, web browser. So to do this, to do this actually, I can click this and then through it here. And as you can see, it's already uh, showed me that the uh, the application or the process that is going to run uh, that is uh, running now, and this is the CPU conception, private byte, and working set, and so on. Okay, so if I would like to close this application, so right click, and then I can say kill the process. Okay, and then you can see the process is not ex uh, existed anymore. I killed this process. Okay, I already have another browser running, but I'm not going to close this uh, uh, browser Firefox now. Okay, so this is what is mentioned here. This is the tool, and then this is what you um, what I have done. All right, then let's start another process and let's examine uh, this process again. So the next, the second process that is uh, required to be run according to uh, this tutorial is the command prompt. So here I just can type command prompt, and this is the a command prompt right click and here you have to run it as an administrator otherwise you will not see the process running okay so this is the uh, process that is running right now and uh, i can say for example now again i will do the same i'm coming here to take this tool and i put it here and as you can see the cmd CMD execution is already running and I have under it the con host.exe. Okay, let's try to do something. Let's do Bing and 888. And then as you will see here that you have a process is running right now and after it's terminated, then automatically it's closed. Okay, let's do this again one more time, just if you to acquire what you have what you see now. Okay, so let's throw this here. Okay, so one more time. I have the CMD processes running now, and now if I will do something, then a new process will be executed under this, which is called ping.exe. Uh, ping After it's executed, then it's terminated automatically. Okay. All right, then, uh, uh, according to this, as you can see, then as uh, uh, you review the uh, active process, you can find the child process, which is called con host, which is this one. And then if you do this, then right click on it and then check the check the uh, virtual uh, right click on it and then check the virus uh, total. And then you can click on this.
and as you can see here I have um, a web page saying that's examining the that if there is an um, if there is a, something abnormal in this so as you can see uh, everything is now undetected so everything is good with this uh, process okay so one more time if you would like to check if you if you have something you are uh, like uh, something suspicious and you are not sure what is it so right click on it and then check virus total and then you will see here a link you click on the link and then a new web page will open and then it's going to, to check this process if it's okay or not okay uh, then let's kill the process again so right click and kill the process and okay and process is killed as you can see all right okay so this is about the process for the next task we need to know what is the threads or what are the threads and what are the handles so the threads actually if you uh, can see here uh, processes have one or more threads so a thread is a unit so a thread is a unit of execution in a process so if you, someone asks you what is the thread so there is a process or there are processes and inside the process there are threads so it's a unit of that is executed under the uh, process okay so let's assume here we have three pro, three threads under this process all right what about the handle a handle is an abstract reference to a memory so a handle is an abstract reference to a memory blocks or an object managed by operating system so a handle if you have an object handled by or managed by operating system or it's abstract reference uh, to memory blocks okay so this is the handle and this is the thread now let's try more and let's see what is the thread again we are going to open a command prompt and then we are going to um, um, let's open the command prompt one more time okay and let's try to do this we have here the command prompt and right click here and then properties and as you can see here we have the threads and here we have four threads uh, that are under this process uh, you can see here there is a tcp ip security environment and job and which is under the properties of uh, the this process and of course what we need to know is that we have here four threads and this is a thread id and this is the start uh, start addresses of inside this thread okay so the thread is a unit that is executed under a process a handle is something related to an object managed by operating system or it's a, a memory a abstract reference to a memory okay so examine the details of the thread so what uh, type of information is available uh, inside this so if you right click here and you can see this that environment you have job uh, settings and image and so things like that related to the thread okay so then let's click ok as is required and then let's see more about handles so in the process as we mentioned in the process explore so you can come here click view and then low pan view and then handles and you can see here the handles related to a specific um, to a specific process okay so here you don't have any anything right now but here if you return back so you can see here many, many threads are uh, here are the threads that are uh, now executing so things uh, related to the, you can check any of them there okay so close process uh, so let's close this we don't need it anymore this application and now for the last part from this task we are going to uh, uh, we are going to learn about uh, Windows registry. So I'm sure that you have heard about the uh, Windows registry before. So let's put it now in a, in a in a context. So what is or in a, in, a, in, a, in a strict way, what is the registry? Actually, a registry is a hierarchical database that stores most of the operating systems and desktop environment configuration settings. Okay, so it's a, like the, the registry is a hierarchical database. This hierarchical database stores most of the operating systems and desktop environment configuration settings. So if you have related to the uh, users, applications, so everything is going to be stored inside a registry. 
All right, so what type of registry uh, do we have? Actually, in Windows, we have uh, five hives or five types of registries. The first one is hkey class root, which is actually the class's subkey of um, a local machine software. It stores information used by registered application like file extension association as well as a, a programmatic and identifier class ID and so on like that. Also we have another one which is called hkey current user which contains the settings and configurations for a user who is currently logged in. So this is related to a user that is going uh, that is currently using the uh, operating system. The third one is about uh, uh, HKey local machine, which stores a configuration information specific to the local computer. And then also users, uh, another one, uh, Hive, uh, Hive keys or HKey for users, which contains the settings and configurations for all the users on the local computer. Also uh, is a subkey of a user. So this is like a, a subkey of the HKey users. And there is also HKey current config, which stores the hard hardware information that is used as a put up by the local computer. Okay, so remember that we already, when we started this application, I already mentioned that when you start the application at the beginning, then there will be an agreement then that you have to accept before you start the uh, before you start the, the application here. So let's do this now. Now I'm going to do something, and you will see uh, um, the effect of uh, the effect of using this uh, registry. Okay, so it's mentioned here that you already uh, uh, accept the agreement. Now let's go and check the registry inside the this computer. So from the search, you just write register edit or register editor. Then you have to accept, and then you will see here the five. Uh, hives one two three four five which one so the first one is this one the root the second one is the current users the third one is the local machine the fourth one is the uh, users hk and the uh, fifth one is about the current configuration okay so these are the definitions for each of these um, uh, registries all right so let's do that task here so as is, as is needed here we need to go to a current user and then we need to go to software after the software we need to search for sys internals so it's uh, arranged it's arranged uh, uh, alphabetically so this is internals and then we go into the uh, process explorer and there here we are and then we need to search for uh, EULI accepted this one and as you can see there is one here which is already it means it's accepted so as you can see double click on the accepted key let's double click on it and you can see the value data here is one the value of one indicates that the EULI has been accepted by the user which I did this in the beginning now I'm going to change this to zero and then okay okay so now it was one as a definition and this means it accepted and then open the uh, process explorer again so now we should see the agreement from the beginning So as you can see now, when I started, I double click on, on this uh, uh, icon, the application, it says now there is an agreement that I have to agree. So when I agree again, now the application is opened. And now from this way, I can open the register again. And I see if I, like if I close on return back, I have to, the value is going to be changed here into one because I already accepted the agreement. Okay, so that's all in this video. So again, it's uh, you can see now it's one again. It means that it's already accepted by me. 
And again, so this is a, a video uh, which uh, shows you the main ideas behind the threads, handles, and Windows, Windows registry. Thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video.